Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm playing with the Harpy deck yet again, with some changes made to it from the uh, previous video that went up earlier today. Now, we were we were never giving up without a fight. We were never giving up on this with uh, without at least a little bit of changing. So basically what you see is I've uh, taken out the barrier statue that was in from the previous build. I took out the Ties of the Brethren, just went a little bit more streamlined with it, just, you know, not playing gimmicky cards like the barrier statue and Ties of the Brethren. And instead, just uh, just playing more like advancing cards as well as more uh, defensive options as well. As you can see, there's a bottomless trap hole and a floodgate trap hole in this list uh, with a trap tricks for Flasia, so that there's actually a defensive line that I can summon turn one uh, now. Because outside of like Draco Sack, which couldn't be made the previous video, uh, there was uh, there was no other like rank four that I could make that was a defensive card turn one. Um, to like add to my trap lineup and Rafflesia is one of the like better ones because you can still draw the traps and not be forced to make Rafflesia. It's not like a, a card like Giant Hand in your extra deck that uh, that you make it or you don't have that defensive line. It's uh, it's definitely one of those situations where uh, where you have access to the traps in the main deck and then if you want further access to them, Rafflesia is your girl. But also Ghost Ogres in the main to be some hand traps against certain situations and then ultimately just a uh, just a standardish sort of like good trap amalgamation. Acre's attack is broken for obvious reasons. Dimensional barrier and strikes are both very good. Uh, strike actually, I can't remember if there's three in the previous build or not. I believe there was plus warning. Um, I just trimmed it down a bit because I mean, while it does prevent the special summon, it does destroy special summon monsters. Uh, we already have a card that negates all the effects for a turn. So uh, strike seemed like it had way too much overlap with something like Featherstorm. And the fact that Featherstorm is searchable off like an in-phase hysteric sign, and if you have a Harpy up, that means you can activate it from your hand, which is insane. Um, like it just—it seemed like there was a lot of overlap there, where like Strike could be afforded to be cut down a peg in terms of quantities in the deck. Uh, but overall, uh, this is this is what I've uh, altered the deck list into after a tiny bit of uh, a tiny bit of uh, thought over the over the previous build, essentially, uh, because the previous build did have some gimmicky stuff in it. But I mean, that's how you test. That's how you test concepts like these that already aren't the best. You try to do whatever you can against the grain and against the norm to make them better, or you just try to go out of your way to optimize it the best you can. So the last last try, the last shot was like really gimmicky. This shot is more of trying to optimize, uh, and it could further be optimized. Even it could be you could play like Pot of Desires, you could play uh, you could play Upstarts and stuff. But I just haven't gotten that far down the line. I'm just trying to basically do proof of concepts at this point. But anyway, other than that. Let's just not waste any more time here because I've been rambling for like three minutes. So let's just jump straight into the game and it's going to be another live commentary game, a single live commentary game. Tell me what you guys think about me going back to that old, old format of how I used to do videos back in mid to late 2016. Uh, if that's something that you enjoy or if you really just like the post dual commentary and with multiple games and stuff like that. Just let me know, but this is basically what we're doing for this video. But anyway, enough rambling. Going into the game now. Alright, so let's try this again. Oh shit, I lost rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> that means that, oh, at least I got a hand trap. Uh, so that seems pretty fine. Uh, these instant fusions have uh, have caught me in a right old pickle, and this is a pre-prep. Okay, so at least it's not Harold. I was about to, like, drop my jaw for a second, because if it was Harold, I was going to be absolutely just, oh, just absolutely ruined. Uh, but so what I get to do here is when he goes to bring his uh, Prediction Princess Tar Tray out, and when Tartray's effect activates in the in phase to special summon uh, one of his uh, flip effect monsters, which is going to be very likely the Shadal Beast that went to grave, I'm going to be able to Ghost Ogre it. So that's going to be really good for me. That means he's going to get a Shadal Beast face down. He'll end at five cards, so as far as card economy, I'll have lost out in terms of like, uh, I'll be taking the minus one off the Ghost Ogre, but he'll still be at five cards. Uh, but this will still just yield a good bit of nonsense for me and I can still draw something like Harpy Channeler and if I draw Harpy Channeler that's gonna be great uh, because if I draw Harpy Channeler I'm going to take this um, I will take it okay and he's down to four cards because he didn't bring back the Shadal Beast okay so he brought back or he put this onto the board which is something that I'm kind of okay with now I don't play any synchros in this build uh, strictly off of room basis but I guess I could cut like something like flare metal to make room for one uh, decisions for later but anyway uh, the first thing that I've got to deal with is that I've got this, I've got to deal with this Pot of Forbidden. That's what I've got to deal with. But, it's not even something I really have to deal with per se. I can just normal summon this and set 
three and pass because the strike is going to naturally out this. Now he's going to get Prediction Princess Tar Tray to his hand off the Prediction Ritual next turn, but I also have the barrier to answer that. So essentially, all I'm really worried about losing to is a possible Twin Twister that might come out of nowhere, and the Twin Twister has to hit both of these. Uh, otherwise, I think I just have this one tightened up. Just because, like, this deck is naturally just weak to both of these cards. And, like, his Pot of Taboos is going to Grave, his Pot of the Forbidden um, is just not going to resolve. This card has so many banned effects on it. <laughs> pot of Greed, <laughs> Giant Trunade. Well, it had Raigeki, but we have that card now. Um, and then, uh, Confiscation. The cards, this card's hilarious with what its effects are. But so, if he acts, if he activates another Prediction Ritual, which he very likely could. Ah, Instant Fusion. Do I care about that? Huh. Um, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to do this. We're going to do this on Fusion, uh, because I could call Ritual, or I could hold it for the possibility of Ritual being the case. Like, if he had done something like Instant Fusion into Diamond Dire, uh, that would have been something that would have been an issue, at least a mild one. Uh, but as it stands, I'm currently okay with this, because I just get to flip this Instant Fusion and bring uh, Norden out, um, and then I'm able to do things there. Now, I don't have access to Channeler, I don't have access to any of those other cool Harpy cards, uh, which sucks. It sucks for me. Uh, but what I can do is I can make, uh, no, I can't make Lightning Shiori off Norden. I'm being stupid. Um, I can make Castell, but there's no point in that. Um, in fact, like, there's almost no point in me doing anything extra deck oriented, because if he has Shadal Fusion in hand, I'm just going to get punished for it. Uh, which is going to be a problem. So I'm actually just going to pass. I'm not going to instant fusion into Norden and into a rank 4 yet because, like I just said, if I, uh, if he has, like, Shadal fusion in hand, because he's playing Shadal cards, it's a very reasonable thing for me to try to, like, expect to see. Alright, that's bottomless. Hmm. <sighs> what do I want to do here? I could make Reflasia, I could do Floodgate Trap Hole... Do, uh, I'm just going to set this bottomless and pass. I'm just going to keep passing until I draw my way into an engine card. The second that I draw myself into like a harpy channeler, like my play string just goes insane. Or not even a harpy channeler. Just like um, like if I draw any level 4 harpy monster, it'll just be great. Uh, because I'll be able to go uh, I'll be able to go into uh, instant fusion into Norden and bring back my harpy lady 1. And then normal summon whatever that level 4 is. And then I can make uh, I can make uh, lightning Chidori and spin whatever he has set, and then um, and then do stuff there. So I can spin whatever I can spin his Shadal Beast, and then I can uh, put his uh, Squamata on top of his deck. So it's like a bad draw, because as it stands right now, his his hand with what I'm seeing is looking like it's just really bricked. Unless he does have Shadal fusions in there, but even then you'd be playing those another Harpy's hunting ground. All right. I can respect that, but I also really fucking hate it. Um, shit. I'm not pleased with that at all. Now I've got to do this instant fusion or else I'm not going to be able to play for the, like the rest of the game. Uh, so, we'll do this. We'll do Norden. Uh, we'll use Norden's effect here. And then I'm basically just going to keep this bottomless for, uh, for safe keeping. Safe, uh, safe housing, I guess. Uh, but this will come out. Its effect is negated. Uh, which means even Hunting Ground wouldn't be able to pump it up to anything decent. Um, I can make Utopia the Lightning and just punch over this Coin Norma, or I can punch over the Shadal Beast. Uh, in fact, I'm going to make Utopia the Lightning, uh, and I'm going to punch over the Shadal Beast, but not use any of my uh, effects. Um, and then from there, it's going to be uh, where he can't make Winda. This is this is the this is the plan, right? If he has Shadal Fusion in hand, he's not going to be able to make Winda. He has to make Shekinaga to uh, to like do anything to try and out this. But even Shek doesn't out this, uh, so like that's really strange as well. I think this is just really strong here against the Shadal deck, actually. Uh, now that I'm just thinking about it, uh, but so I'm not hitting any either, like either of these. Like it's a huge amount of damage if I do hit either of them, uh, but ultimately it just doesn't seem uh, worth. But okay, so here's a Hedgehog being normal summoned and he's overlaying those into a break sword <laughs> no nah, -uh. nah, not today we're not messing with that oh don't tell me you play forbidden lance okay 
I was about to say, I was going to be 100% livid if I, if I just lost to a Forbidden Lance in 2017. That would have been a problem. Okay, that's Summoner Monk. That's good. That's so good. I've got two Harpies Hunting Grounds, and I've got a bum-ass Instant Fusion that I'm not using. Man, that's super good. Uh, let's just hope I don't get Veilered. If he, well, if he had Veiler, he could have Veilered the uh, Monk and left me in attack position, and then that would have been insane. Uh, because then that would have been game. Okay, Max C here. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, because what I can do is he's at 7,000. I can summon my Harpy Channeler. And I can use Harpy Channeler to discard Hunting Ground. And I can then use... I can make Lightning Chidori spin his card to the top of his deck. Um, I can make Xerophon um, somehow. I could make... Big Eye, I can make Flare Metal. Um, I can make Flare Metal kill his Skulmata and then attack, but then Flare Metal's not really going to be doing much. Uh, but it would just be another one of those cards that would just be really, like, good. I probably just should have gotten Channeler, actually. Not Channeler, um, uh, what's his name? Harpist? Yeah, that one. Probably should have just gotten that. Because if I had uh, just gotten Harpist straight off the Monk, uh, then it would have been, uh, would have been pretty damn decent, uh, for what I would have had access to. But... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make Xerophon, I guess. No, there's no real, there's no reason to. There's no reason to do any of that. I can make Squamata and put his stuff back. I can make, uh, I can make a uh, Chidori and put a Squamata back, but I don't see a reason for any of that. I just don't see a reason. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna sit on all of these. That's all that's gonna happen here. So I'm gonna sit on them. He's gotten a couple of pluses off Maxi. That's fine. This Utopia Lightning is still stacked with its materials, so that's fine as well. Yeah, I'm just not worried about any of this. I could have put that Skulmata back on top of his deck, but he would have gotten another draw, and then he would have been guaranteed drawing that Skulmata next turn, which could have just, like, been an amazing draw for him. So, yeah, we're not we're not about to take that sort of risk. Uh, but so, Shadal Fusion here I don't think does anything. Uh, he can go into Winda, but Winda doesn't beat Lightning. He can go into uh, Shekinaga, but that doesn't beat Lightning either. Um, so, like, I'm not sure what exactly we do here as far as outing the lightning outside of this instant fusion making something like Castel. Uh, but so if he makes Castel, he has to spin the lightning, which means my stuff stays here, which means that my channeler, um, is probably the prime target to get killed, uh, because, well, the thing is, like, all of these are, this, this board is actually just super, like, secure, because if he kills channeler, let's, let's say he makes Castel and spins my Utopia the lightning, that's what I'm expecting at this point. Because he can't really out the Utopia of the Lightning with anything else, right? So if he spins... Oh! Oh, shit! Well, this is fine. This is so fine. He's going to make Utopia of the Lightning and try to attack my Utopia of the Lightning, and both of them have a continuous static effect, where both of them will not be able to activate. At least if I'm understanding this correctly. Utopia of the Lightning versus Utopia of the Lightning, they both die. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa. I, that's not the play I was expecting at all. I was expecting Castell spin Utopia the Lightning and then Castell, like, attack one of my monsters. But even if he attacked Monk or Channeler, I still have access to the spell that I can discard for Monk, and the spell can also be discarded for Channeler. So it's, uh, it seemed fine. This is Hysteric Sign is gonna be super juicy. Ooh, ooh, super juicy! I get to discard it for Monk! Um, so we're gonna do this. Uh, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna try and kill him. So I'm gonna put this hunting ground out, and I'm gonna try and use this summoner monk effect. Oh, should I use the summoner monk effect, or should I just use hysteric sign and get the elegant egotist? Because if I do that, that's, like, this could be a strike. Oh, I don't want to lose the strike today. You know what? Risk it for the biscuit. We're going for it. We're gonna try and discard this, because then this will get an effect in the end phase. Uh, okay, oh my god, it's resolving. Holy shit! Um, <laughs> I did not expect that. All right, so Harpy Lady One, Harpy's Hunting Ground pops this. Now, as long as this isn't Dimensional Barrier, Twin Twister. Hell yeah! Okay. Oh, that's so good. I got so rewarded. I got so rewarded. If I had, uh, if I had um, done the other way around, right? I would have. Uh, this can't attack, so I need to be very mindful of that. Um, if I had done it the other way around, then I would have just lost 100% <laughs> alright so it's pretty obvious he doesn't have something like Shadal Fusion in his hand because if he did it would have come down last turn before he instant fusioned right 
So what we're going to do is we're going to attach this Harpist, we're going to put the Shadal Dragon back on top of his deck, and we're going to attack him for 19. His Utopia of the Lightning is gone, so I'm not worried about that. Um, oh, I just got so fucking rewarded for just going with my gut. If I had activated that Hysteric Sign, he would have Twin Twistered it and my fucking Field Spell, and I would have lost. Uh, we're going to get Harpy's Featherstorm. We're going to get, because uh, that's great, you can add it. Um, now, I don't have a Harpy on the board, which I could have probably left there. I could have made, like, Castell, but then the stuff wouldn't be on top of the deck, so that would be a problem. Uh, get Harpy Harpist. Yes, add another card. We're going to add Harpy uh, Harpy Queen, and now my Harpy Harpist in Grave will get to trigger for a Channeler. So this is, this is a really good position for me to be in overall, because he's drawing that dragon again, so his hand seems to be very bricked. Otherwise, he would have done things more on his last turn. He would have done things like Shadal Fusion, he would have summoned his Tara Tray. He would have done any sort of nonsense like that. Like, that would have been what happened. So, this is exactly what I was expecting to happen. Like, this Shadal Dragon being summoned, and he's crashing with my Lightning Shidori. And so now, from here, that's another Harpy's Featherstorm. That's fucking fantastic. Uh, the problem here is that I'm going to have to pop this Hunting Ground, but that's fine, because I could actually just Harpy's Queen for another one. So, that's, that's not an issue. But so, this is going to get popped by itself. Uh, and then I'm going to be able to just use this, discard my Harpist. Oh, uh, this this is such a fucking good situation that I'm in, right? Um, am I out of uh, am I out of hunting grounds? Oh, I am. Okay. Well, I don't even know why I added this. I guess it's just beefy. Um, <laughs> that's literally my justification. I guess it's just beefy. Uh, but so what I have here is this plus. Uh, this plus the what should we do that the flare metal, uh, the flare metal is getting made here. Uh, these are not live at all because I have to keep doing this, uh, so that kind of sucks. Uh, now flare metal is 28. That would be 36, which would put him at five. So like, do no, I don't, I don't risk it. No, 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 no. We don't, <laughs> we don't risk that at all. I was like, do I put the monk in attack mode to put him at 500 so he can't activate any card? I was like, wait, nope, we, we're not messing with that. Not today. <laughs> because if we mess with that, if we tempt fate with that, he could normal summon a Squamata or a Dragon and just kill my ass. We're not trying to do that. That's not what's about to happen. Twin Twister. Discard a card, and he gets to destroy these two. Now this burns him for five. So now he has two cards left in hand in phase. Okay. Well, all right then. Very simple, very easy, very clean. Uh, so from here, I'm gonna just do this. Um, I'm just gonna do this for uh, for the gusto, just because it 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 makes sense. Like might as well, right? Uh, but so we'll summon this harpist. What does phantasmal dragon require? Is it generic, or is it harpies? Three level four wind monsters. So I can't use it with monk. Shit. All right. Well, this is fine. Uh, this this is fine because then I just have the Icarus attack with the with the stuff on the board. If for some reason a battle fader happened, but. Goddamn, that was a uh, that was actually just an interesting little back and forth. Um, I I was so scared that I was going to lose this at any moment to like a top deck shit all fusion. That would have sucked absolutely awful bits of dick. Like oh, it would have sucked dick absolutely. Would not have been a fan. But anyway, that is it. I'm actually <laughs> I really enjoyed that game. That's the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh that I like to play. That was a 16 turn long game of just back and forth of just him trying to kill me and me trying to kill him. That's the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh I actually just really enjoy and I'm really glad that that actually just happened because this, this Harpy deck is capable of grinding once you get to like your key cards but like I just didn't get to those for turns upon turns upon turns so shit me man. Uh, there might still be some changes that happen to the list overall but other than that, anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the links in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of each month, so definitely check out the details over on Patreon. I always give away a large amount of Konami product. I'm not sure what this month's will be. It'll probably just be like a lot of the structure decks, honestly. Uh, but ultimately, it'll uh, it'll be fine. Uh, depending on what else like might come out. I don't know. 
uh, haven't figured that one out yet. But it also gets you access into, or possible access into my Discord server, depending on what reward tier you pick, uh, which is where Earthworm came from, and it's where people just talk with me on a daily basis, as well as it's where I get the people that I duel with for these videos. But if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've experienced thus far. Definitely check out their site, and let them know that Phoenix sent you if you're looking to acquire any cards you've seen me play or use in videos. But other than that, that is it for this video. Again, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.